Hi, my name is Maria, and today I'm making mulled wine. And mulled wine is wine that's been steeped with spices. The spices I'm using are allspice berries, whole cloves, these are black peppercorns, and then some green cardamom pods. Um, and what we're going to do is put them all in a little spice ball. You could also put them in a piece of like muslin or cheesecloth, or like an old t-shirt you could just kind of uh, cut a chunk out of and wrap it up. I'm going to put these guys in here. And then I'm just going to put them, this is, uh, this is pan's already been heating, it's kind of, it's on high heat right now. And I'm just going to put them in there and the ball will get hot and they'll get kind of toasty. And as soon as they're toasty, we'll add the wine. I'm also adding a couple of cinnamon sticks. And those I'm just going to put right in the pan and then fish out later. So now we just wait for just a minute. So I can smell the toasty spices, especially the cinnamon, and now it's time to add the wine. Uh, the trick with good mold wine is that you don't want the wine to really boil because that gets it kind of bitter. So we'll add it in and then we'll turn down the heat. And this is just a ooh. this is just a Merlot. You want something kind of fruity, so you could use Cabernet or like a table red. Something that in the description on the back says uh, describes fruits and not oaks. So you don't want it to be too oaky. And then this is honey, which will add a little sweetness to it. And I love these things. They're, they're really good for sticky, sticky measuring. I'm just going to whisk this together. Dissolve that honey. All right, and now I'm going to turn it down. What you really want is for the wine to steam, but not boil. You want it to kind of be at a really low simmer. So you maybe see a bubble here and there, but that's it. This has got a little bit of steam coming up. I'm gonna add orange bitters. Now, this is something you can find in most liquor stores. You could also add an orange peel, like the peel of a whole orange in there. Um, this is just tidier, and I kind of like it. This is kind of a lot, but it mimics the flavor of a whole orange. And then we're just going to let this sit. It'll take about half an hour for the spices to all steep together. Um, and then we'll serve it. If I was doing this for a large group, I would probably use a crock pot and one of those boxes of wine. Um, this recipe is easily multiplied for however many people you want to do. This will serve two to four. Okay, it's been half an hour. Our Wine is still steamy, but not bubbly. If you wanted to keep it on the stove, if you wanted to um, just serve it straight from the stove, keep it over a really low flame, but take out your spices now because you don't want them to get too spicy or kind of overwhelm the wine. Um, what I'm gonna do now is serve it in a little cup with a garnish of cinnamon. Now there's two types, well, there's a few types of cinnamon. This is true cinnamon and this is cassia. And I put true cinnamon in here, but you can kind of see if you look at it, there's lots of tiny little layers in the true cinnamon. The cassia is a big thick piece and so it's not going to come off in your uh, drink, which is important. The last thing I do before I serve it up is I'll put a little bit of brandy in here. This is not required. I'm just going to put a shot in. Um, because you do get some of the alcohol evaporating off, a lot of times people like to add more back in. You don't have to. Totally an option. You can also do uh, rum or vodka if you want. Vodka and um, if you add raisins and almonds, then that's clog, which is sort of a Scandinavian thing. All right. And there it is. Our lovely cup of mulled wine. It's great for a cold afternoon.